Bonjour, bonjour. You want to add a TikTok video somewhere on your Shopify website? Let's do that right now. So there's going to be two options to do it. Either you're going to do it on a specific product page or you're going to do it on a product template. So let me show you both options. That way you know what to expect. You're going to go to online store. And the first thing you're going to do is to duplicate. So you're going to click on actions and duplicate. You always work on a duplicate of the code. If you don't want to do this, another option is to use Rewind. It's an app that backs everything up and you don't have to worry about anything. You can just go back to previous version. It's a really, really cool app. And by clicking the link below, you're kind of helping out the channel. So check out Rewind below. Great company. But anyway. Right here is the duplicate. We're going to be working on this if you don't want to use Rewind. So click Actions and we're going to click Edit Code. All right, first we're going to go to TikTok and we're going to click the Share button. There is the Embed Code and it provides you the code. Now it's up to you to decide where you want that code. We can, for example, put it on all product pages. So it's automatically everywhere. For that, you're going to go in the sections right here and you're going to go to product dash section. It's called pop, 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 product recommendation, product templates, product template. I'm sorry, right here. And then you can post it somewhere around here. It's kind of up to you. Um, you can choose a location. So let's say, um, let's find the button because if we find the button, that is the buy button and we can put it close to the buy button type of button. Um, thumbnails for the slider. This is uh, pop, 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 pop. submit. This is the buy button. So let's put it under the buy button right here. Actually, let's put it right here. So all you do is you can create as much spacing as you want and you can paste the code that you just got from TikTok. Now let's go check it out. Um, open in a new tab because it is not live yet, obviously. So we're going to go to actions, preview. Let's pull out a uh, product right here. And right here we have our TikTok. Now, as I mentioned, this is going to be on every single page. So no matter which product you choose, the TikTok is going to be here. So maybe you don't want it on every page. In that case, you go back, you delete what we have just added right here. And you can add it on just one specific product. So let's go to products right here. Um, and we can do it on the black letter bag, for example. We can put it in the description of the black letter bag. We go right here, show HTML. We go to the very bottom of it. We hit enter a couple of times and we paste the TikTok code. We save it. And as soon as we save it, that means it's going to be immediately live. So it's not on our duplicate version. It's on our live version right here, black letter bag and Right below, we have again the TikTok. It takes a while to load, but it seems to be working. There you go. That's exactly what we wanted right here. There's even two TikToks. Um, that's it. We can also put it on a, so if we don't want it here, we delete it. Save. That's it. We can also put it on a different page. Let's say um, up, 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 online store on a, a page page, the logic on the FAQ, for example, the logic stays the same. You go to the HTML and you paste it in here, or maybe you want to do it on a blog post. Again, you, well, we don't have a blog post yet, but you would just add the HTML right here. There we go. Blog, we do visible, save, and we view it. And here's our blog article with our TikTok post. One last thing, if you wanted it like we did in the beginning of this video on every single product um, page, so if you really hard coded in the template, don't forget to, once you're done, check your what 
your result if you like it. And if you do go to actions on the theme you worked with, you'll see last saved 27 minutes ago, and then make sure to publish it live so that becomes your main theme. There you go. I hope this helps. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We do way more complicated uh, dev tutorials for Shopify.